Look, I'm gonna be honest, if you're one of those assholes that thinks you can predict everything that's gonna happen in a horror film, and you think you're gonna be able to predict this one, not a chance. It's actually physically impossible. And that is what we call a fact. We taking over the game one step at a time. Everybody has these dreams of being first in line. It may take a little while before we reach the light. We just gotta take what we Barbarian was directed by Zach Kreger and stars Georgina Campbell and Bill Skarsgård as well as Justin Long. A young woman discovers the rental home she booked is already occupied by a stranger. Against her better judgment, she decides to spend the night but soon discovers there is a lot more to fear than just an unexpected house guest. That was actually the synopsis that I read from Wikipedia because usually, obviously you guys know I'd like to give my own synopsis but for this film, I feel like just to play it safe and go specifically just from the Wikipedia synopsis because I want to be as vague as possible with this review just like how the trailer was because the trailer for this film gave about maybe a like maybe just five to ten percent of the actual film but the rest oh man was I in for a crazy surprise this is one of the most batshit craziest horror movie experiences in a theater that I've ever had probably in my life. What this film does very well is that it toys with audience emotions and expectations because sometimes this movie will present you with something and it's never very clear on how they want us to feel. They never, it never lets us know, wait, should we feel scared? Should we be laughing? Should we feel uncomfortable? The movie never gives us an opportunity to really think or give us that like, how, how should we feel type moment. It just presents it and it goes, there you go. Whatever you feel is what you feel. And that's what I really love about this film. The film also is very wise and it trusts the audience and it doesn't treat us as we're stupid. We never always get concrete answers with certain things. And when we do get answers, it's kind of just like one of those, hmm, okay. And it's just one of those things where you just have to deal with it. And that's what I really love about this film. It is very vague even when you watch the film. There are still certain things that you have to really put together. But it's not to the point where it comes off in this A24 horror film pretentious way where every shot has to be analyzed. It is very easy to follow if you are paying attention. And when you eventually do put everything together, it's a very disturbing mindfuck that I really could not get out of my head. Especially one scene that involved uh, breastfeeding, which... If you've seen the movie, then uh, yeah, but that, that was one of the most uncomfortably funny scenes I've ever seen in a horror film. And uh, just in case you haven't seen it, I'm obviously not going to spoil it because like I said, I want to be very vague as possible. Georgina Campbell and Bill Skarsgård are very good in this film as well as Justin Long who shows up. I want to say within like the last 45 minutes of the film and he's really good whenever Justin Long is in a horror film I mean you know Jeepers Creepers and then Tusk I mean you know this guy picks like the weirdest projects when it comes to horror but if he's gonna continue doing stuff like this then I'm all in for it as I said in the beginning of the video this movie really does toy with our expectations and how we think it's because whenever you watch a horror movie or just a movie in general your brain mentally thinks okay this is what's gonna happen because maybe if you've seen a lot of movies before or maybe horror films you go okay that's what's gonna happen she's gonna go into this house Bill Skarsgård is gonna be this creepy guy and at first yeah they do set it up that way because Bill Skarsgård is kind of a little bit socially awkward and he's kind of like creepy comes off in a very creepy way but at the same time a very innocent way so the film never lets you know exactly what to really feel about this guy and then eventually you think okay yep that's exactly what this character is going to be but then once you actually finally set that in your mind like yep that's how he's going to be the movie literally gives you a fucking middle finger and says nope that's not what's going to happen the movie flips the bird on us and goes nope and then it just cuts away and you're just thinking wait what and then they just kind of go you know what it's all right it's all right just watch this for a second we're gonna come back to that and uh yeah that's all i can really say there were people in the theater actually groaning being annoyed and i can understand why some people probably won't like this film because it is very different but the thing i also love about this film is yes it is very different and it is very challenging but it doesn't take away from a very entertaining horror film because all that weird stuff aside that they do 
In general, this is a very entertaining film. They do a really damn good job at setting up Georgina Campbell to be a very likable protagonist because there isn't a lot lying underneath the surface and there doesn't always have to be. Not every character has to have this beautiful character arc and there has to be this crazy backstory about them. They give us enough to the point where we do like them and we want to be able to see them succeed. But unfortunately, she does make some pretty dumb decisions. There are moments where you think, okay, you know what, that was smart to do. And then once again, it changes and then the character makes another stupid decision you're just thinking what the fuck are you doing you're gonna die so there were some moments where i was just kind of like mm, i don't think anybody in their right mind would actually be brave enough to do that but i guess the way they set up georgina campbell's character tests kind of makes sense exactly why she would be the type of person to do this this film also features probably some of the stupidest cops I've ever seen in a horror film in a long time. You know when horror films like cops will always just shine their flashlights in something and they'll say, oh, well, whatever it is, it's gone now. Man, these cops pissed me off so much in this film, despite the fact that they're only in the film for about maybe three minutes. But when they were on there, I just kept thinking like, oh my fucking god and uh yeah but that's another thing that this film does is that it does play a lot on the horror tropes because when it comes to horror tropes like cops being stupid and not taking certain things seriously they really stretch it out in this one for the three minutes that they were able to do and they also do it when it comes to like a female entering a home with a strange man and it does kind of play in those tropes because you're thinking why in the hell would she do this and the film does a really damn good job at kind of bringing these tropes that usually we'd be pissed off about, but makes it a lot more convincing than we would think they would do. But I guarantee there are going to be a lot of people that hate this film, and I can understand exactly why. But I'm the type of person that likes to be challenged when it comes to a horror film. I don't need to be told exactly that this is what's going on, this is what's going on, are you paying attention? Like, we're explaining everything, do you get it? I like the fact that the director trust the audience and he knew that we didn't need to be spoon-fed and it's safe for us to just figure everything out on our own and with that being said barbarian is definitely one of the most original horror films i've seen in a very long time there are a little bit of moments where i kind of just was like mm, yeah i don't know about that but that's gonna come based off opinion like some people might get annoyed when characters make dumb decisions but then like there are certain things that wouldn't happen if they made that type of decision but in the end I really had a good time with Barbarian. I'm going to give it an A. I'm really excited to see what Zack Craiger does next with a horror film. Hopefully he does do another horror film. I'm there day one, just like how I was with Ari Aster when he first released Hereditary. I'm there, man. But uh, as any as anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in the new video. Peace. Taking over the game one step at a time. Everybody has these dreams of being first in line. It may take a little while before we reach the light. We just gotta take what we gotta make sure that we make it right.